ladies and gentlemen of the class of 2023. Take the vaccine. If I could offer you only one tip for the future, the COVID vaccine would be it. The long-term benefits of the COVID vaccine has been proved by scientists, whereas the rest of my advice has no basis more reliable than my own tinfoil hat-wearing conspiracy theories. I shall dispense this advice now. Bill Gates enjoyed the company of youth on Epstein Island. You will not be invited to stay on Epstein Island unless you are famous. But trust me, in 20 years, you'll look back on photos of these individuals and recall in a way you can't grasp now how much manipulation was going on and how compromised they really were. Jeffrey did not kill himself like you imagine. Don't worry about the future or worry, but know that worrying is as effective as trying to stop a respiratory virus by wearing a cloth face mask. The real troubles in your life are apt to be things that never crossed your worried mind. The kind that locks you down at 8 p.m. on some idle Monday. Do one thing every week to scare the pants off people. Sing. Don't mention myocarditis in other people's hearts. Don't put up with blood clots in your heart. Mass. Don't waste your time with lockdowns. Sometimes you're ahead of the curve, sometimes you're behind. The race is long, and in the end, it was a huge transfer of wealth. Remember conspiracies you're involved in. Forget the insults. If you succeed in doing this, tell me how. Keep your old flight logs. Delete all your emails. Stretch. Don't feel guilty about anything whatsoever. Some of the most evil people I know didn't care at 22 about destroying people's lives. Some of the most evil 40-year-olds I know still do. Take plenty of ivermectin and always spend cash. You'll miss that when it's gone. Maybe you'll marry, maybe you won't. Maybe you'll adopt children from another country, maybe you won't. Maybe you'll divorce at 65. Maybe you'll dance with the nurses of TikTok through the next lethal pandemic. Whatever you do, don't congratulate yourself too much or berate yourself. Your choices are part of a new world order plan to control the masses. Enjoy your body. Your body, your choice. Don't be afraid of it or let others experiment on it. Pretty soon, it'll be the only thing you still own. Dance. Even if you have nowhere to do it but in an overcrowded hospital. Preach social distancing, even if you don't follow it. Do not read mainstream media, it will only make you feel angry. Brother and sister together will make it through. Someday a spirit will take you and guide you there. Get to know your parents. You never know when you'll be saying goodbye from behind a glass window. Be nice to your siblings. They're your best link to your past and the people most likely to warn you about the next big conspiracy. Understand that friends come and go, and there's a complete list in the flight log of names of those involved. Work hard to cover up the evidence. Because the older you get, the more you'll need the people you blackmailed when you were young. Live in a 15-minute city once, but leave before they lock you down. Live in northern Gaza once, but leave before they bomb your house. Travel. Accept certain inalienable truths. Prices will rise. Politicians invested in Pfizer. You too will grow old. And when you do, you'll fantasize that when you were young, prices were reasonable, 
Tony Blair was a good Prime Minister, and children knew their gender. Express your gender. Don't expect anyone else to support you. Maybe your father will lend you a million dollars. Maybe you'll have a wealthy spouse. But you never know when either one may run out. Don't mess too much with your hair, or by the time you're Prime Minister, you'll look like a clown. Be careful whose advice you buy, but be patient with those who supply it. Advice is a form of propaganda. Dispensing it is a way of covering up the mistakes of the past and switching the public's focus on to the next distraction. But trust me on the vaccine.